Police in Victoria say they are still trying to determine the cause of a devastating weekend house fire that claimed the lives of four young children. And a warning, pictures in the story may distress some viewers. Neighbours say they woke to screams for help in the early hours of yesterday morning as the home at Werribee in Melbourne South West was quickly engulfed by flames. Firefighters arrived on the scene about 10 minutes after the blaze was reported, but they say the heat was so intense there was nothing they could do to save those still inside. The children's distraught parents and their eight-year-old boy managed to escape the fire, suffering smoke inhalation and minor injuries. A firefighter was also injured. Let's get more from our reporter Stephanie Ferrier, who's in Werribee. Steph, any news yet on what's caused this tragedy? Good morning, Bridget. No, we still have no information, but arson squad investigators have spent a long time combing through the charred ruins of this Montello Drive Werribee home behind me, just searching for clues as to the cause of this unimaginable tragedy. As you say, a baby girl aged just one, her six-year-old sister and her brothers aged three and ten all perished in this blaze in the early hours of yesterday morning. And and their distraught parents and an eight-year-old brother managed to escape the flames. But as you can see, it has really left this home here behind me just a burnt out shell such was the ferocity and intensity of the heat and flames here and as you can see behind me there are now a series of floral tributes that have just been left on this temporary fencing uh, there are candles there are teddies as well mm -hmm. and one of those notes reads fly home little angels rest in peace yeah community in shock there and grieving with this family what's been the reaction Steph from locals Yes, yeah, so the street is quiet this morning, but yesterday there was an absolute outpouring of grief, as you can imagine, when relatives arrived on the scene. Uh, also friends and neighbours, uh, some of whom said that they didn't even know this family, but they were crying nonetheless because it was just such a horrible situation for this very tight-knit community. And they've been checking in on each other as well just to try to come to terms with this horrible loss here. We've also heard that a GoFundMe page set up for funeral expenses has raised almost $83,000 so far. Stephanie Ferrier reporting for us there from Werribee.